there's a lot of myths about trades and we want to dispel those and we want to also promote the real benefits of being in trades. There's always that perception that women are going to have a tough time when they get into, the, into a trade. Um, I think years ago that was probably more obvious but it, times have changed. I think women are realizing that the trades are not dirty. I think they're also realizing that the trades take a lot of academic excellence, that they're not a program for dummies, which I think is a usual thing that people have. And I think because technology is playing such a huge part now in the trades that I have, that it's attracting females. One person brings up the physical challenge a lot, you know, are you capable, can you lift this? It just takes a little bit of imagination, a little bit of ingenuity to come up with different ideas on how to actually, you know, physically move something or rig it up so we can actually, you know, there's just different ways. You have to work a little bit harder, but a little bit smarter. Right now in the province of BC and across Canada, actually, there's a shortage of certified tradespeople. We don't have enough skilled people to do a lot of the work that is currently underway. Uh, excellent job opportunities, of course, with the demand for skills uh, now, uh, the focus on, on the baby boomers retiring and that new wave coming in. Uh, also, the opportunity for terrific wages. I would say that if you go to the community college, wherever you live, and say, uh, I'd like to have a tour of your program, you may go to a machine shop after you've toured the program and think it's something interesting. Go and talk to some people, some tradespeople. There's oftentimes sector councils or other groups. Skills Canada is a great opportunity to really get in and showcase, see what people do every day. You can see what plumbers are doing, welders are doing, and of course my favorite is machining. Well, what we do, we have a very open door. So if an individual is interested in any of the programs that we have, whether they're in my portfolio or in the portfolio of other deans at the college, all they need to do is call the college and we set up tours. We also set up opportunities for people to spend a few days with us so they can get a chance to see what is the program like and what would be the industry like. If you're a woman and you're thinking that it's too much of a challenge, you know, I would just recommend you kind of meet some people, you know, come out, talk to us you know, actually spend a day working, you know, get your hands dirty a little bit and just experience it. You know, you might find joy in, in a career like that. I mean, there are, you don't know until you try. Do your homework, check it out. Find out what is the trade you really will feel passionate about. And remember that you don't necessarily end up doing that for the rest of your life. It's a pathway. And there's a lot of pathways that trades provide you with. Well, tradespeople, I think, have a good opportunity ahead of them. There's going to be more people retiring and less coming in, so it's, it's, a, it's a viable career option. If you like what you do every day, it'll make your career very rewarding. You can do anything you want. Go get it, girls. <laughs>